Look what came in the mail. So when I got home from work today, I looked in the mailbox and I finally got my birch box for the month of October. So I'm just going to go over what I got for this month and kind of tally up what I would keep and what I would give to my mom because that's usually what I do when it comes to birch box items. For those of you who don't know what birch box is, it's a monthly subscription where you receive four to five deluxe size sample items of makeup, skincare, beauty products, and sometimes they have some lifestyle lifestyle items. So here we go, I'm going to open my birch box and let's go. So when you get the birch box, it comes in, duh, a birch box like this. Um, basically a box that has the birch box logo, which is in magenta foil. And as you open it, you get a little card right here from the birch box team, as well as uh, magenta tissue that has a lot of goodies in it. So I'm going to read what it says in the card. And it says here, in between the leaf peeping and apple picking, fall is a time to get back to business. Um, and looking good doing it. What better way than with products designed to help you prep and polish skin, body, and hair. This batch of samples will help you become the most, your most gorgeous self from start to finish. So let's see what I got. So the very first thing that I looked at and saw when opening uh, the box was this really big item and looking at it it says it's a chorus body butter right there and it's an extra moisturizing cream for dry skin I'll go ahead and just read what it says in the card here and it says uh, it's a guava body butter this lush lotion has rich shea butter and healing quince extract quince extract does anybody know what that means um, anyways, to keep skin soft all day, warning, the refreshing tropical scent will inspire vacation daydreams. So, it says vacation daydreams, and I'm actually going on vacation in about three weeks, for three weeks, in Asia. So, one of the places I'm going to be going to is somewhere tropical. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of this place called Phuket. It's in Thailand. It's basically a whole bunch of beaches and very relaxing, so I'm hoping... Maybe I'll bring this there with me, but um, as I open this up, that's what it looks like. And it says it's scented guava. I'm going to rub it on my skin. And the texture comes out pretty thick at first, and it actually smooths pretty well on my um, the back of my hand. And it has this kind of coconutty, tropical... No, I don't really smell the guava, to be honest, but... Very coconutty, but um, tropical scent. It smells pretty good. Um, yeah, it's pretty big too. It's about 1.69 fluid ounces. This is probably ten dollars worth. So, what you're getting from the subscription is paying for itself by this bottle from this bottle. So. That's good. I'm probably going to keep this. That's mine. The next thing that I see in the box is this little tube vessel thing. It has a little cap that you push open. Yeah, and then you take out the content, and it looks like it's a mascara. So here it says, ooh, I don't know if you can read that, but it's called Blink. It's mascara. This tubing mascara won't smear, smudge, or run. Plus, it gives lashes a sassy, extra glossy look. So this is a good travel size item. As you open it, that's the brush right there. It's kind of medium size. It's a medium size brush, um, not as big as the Dior Iconic or the Dior Blackout. But anyways, I probably keep this for myself because I'm. I only wear mascara when I go out or something, or when there's something to celebrate or an occasion. So I'll probably take this with me too. So that's two for me and zero for my mom. Um, the next thing that I see here is, is this Kaudali Vino Perfect Night Correcting Cream. It's a, in a very small um, packaging. Reading it from the little uh, card, it says, The Vino Perfect Cell Renewing Night Cream, a rich moisturizer that uses a patented grape compound to exfoliate and brighten skin so that you wake up looking perky. Um, this is really small, and honestly, I have no problems with 
like anti-aging right now or like a cell renewal. Um, so I'm probably going to give this to my mom. She probably would benefit this more than me because she likes all that anti-aging stuff. So this is going to her. So two for me and one for my mom. So looking in the box, I see this other little package item um, wrapped in tissue paper. And there's this little card that says, which fall beauty trend are you excited to try about? Tell us on Twitter, Facebook, on or on YouTube. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. But... I'm probably not going to do that. That's a little too much work. So as I take out the little ribbon and unfold this, the first thing that I grabbed is this little sample sized item. It looks like it's a wool and cashmere shampoo. Wool and cashmere. Well, it's non-toxic, non biodegradable, and allergen free. I don't know about wool and cashmere. That's that's like um, items that you would use for clothing, but put them on your hair. Anyways, um, this is not even on the list. Oh, it is. Duh. It's classified as extra. Um, the Laundress. It's a delicate wash. Laundry just got a little more civilized. Use this elegant wash on all your special items. Oh. Duh. I get it now. Um... I'm assuming this is like laundry detergent, but for your for your wool and cashmere items. We are fanatics about the proper care of our beloved woolen and cash woolens and cashmere. Woolens. Is that like the plural of wool? Yeah, so um I have a, a bit of wool um items, but not that much I don't even think I have any cashmere items, so this probably will go to my mom. Yay! And then the last item that I see here is this, the Stila eyeshadow. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to me, it's going to my mom. But, um, it says here, an easy to blend shadow with a velvety texture. Apply it dry for a wash of color or add a little war water to turn it into a liner. So it's multi-purpose. Um, I'm going to open it anyways because it's mine. Or, it's not mine, but this is what the color looks like. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's a nice little taupey color. It's in the color rain. Um, maybe I'll do a swatch. So this is what it looks like. It's actually a really nice fall color. Um, I wouldn't wear it on myself, but ladies, if you wear this as maybe on the outer V of your eyes, it'll um, give the illusion of really nice eyes with a lot of depth. And you can probably use this to smoke out the outer portions of your eye. Makeup tutorial. I don't even wear eyeshadow, and I already know that. But anyways, um, final tally is two for me and three for my mom. Um, I guess that's about right. That's what it was like last month and the month before that. But I think I'm really liking the two items that I received this month, the body butter and the mascara. Um... These three items are pretty cool, too. Not for me, but I assume that if you were a girl, you would like all of these items. But, you know, since I'm a guy, I'm probably just going to use these three. Um, anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Birchbox review slash haul. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going on vacation for about three weeks in Asia. I'm going to three, five different countries. Um, Hong Kong first, then going down to Singapore and then afterwards Phuket, Thailand to just relax for four days and then afterwards um, Manila, Philippines and then going down to a smaller um, area in, in the Philippines called Roja City where my dad's from and then going over to Taipei, Taiwan and then back home so if you guys have any suggestions as to where to eat, where to shop, where to go, what, what to see please let me know, I'm really interested I've been to Hong Kong like four or five times, I've been to the Philippines a few times been to Thailand once but um, I would like to know where you would go or where you have been. Um, if, there, if you know any um, beauty skincare products that I should know about and possibly purchase when I'm in one of those countries. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'll probably be vlogging the whole way. I'm still, um, I'm still on the fence whether I'm going to put that on my YouTube or Facebook. But if you guys feel like you would enjoy a vlog every day per place I go, um, please let me know because I don't want to swamp all you guys with 23 days of 
Asia. So, also, I reached about 100 subscribers. Right now I'm about 124, so that's crazy for me that people are watching this in the first place. So, I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers for watching my videos and putting up with me. I hope you find this helpful, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!